It has been a very productive year. Argentina focused on three priorities, which are priorities for us all. The future of work, infrastructure development, and sustainable food. These priorities aligned well with those of the G7 summit in Charlevoix, Quebec last June, where we worked hard to create economic systems that benefit everyone and strengthen the middle class. Je félicite aussi l'Argentine d'avoir abordé les discussions sous l'angle de l'égalité des sexes. Nous savons que nos économies et nos sociétés sont plus fortes quand les femmes participent et s'impliquent pleinement. Au cours des deux jours que nous avons passés ici, j'ai réitéré l'engagement du Canada à l'égard du multilatéralisme dans les dossiers du commerce, de l'emploi, du climat et d'autres enjeux que nous avons en commun parce que aucun pays ne peut espérer de résoudre seul les problèmes auxquels les pays du monde sont confrontés nous devons travailler ensemble le G20 nous offre une tribune cruciale pour le faire comme vous le savez sans doute le Canada a joué un rôle de premier plan dans la création du G20 et dans la première réunion des dirigeants du G20 en 2008 au milieu de la crise financière internationale I'd like to congratulate Argentina for bringing a perspective of gender equality to our talks. We know that our economies and our societies are stronger when women are full and equal participants. Over our two days here, I've reiterated Canada's commitment to multilateralism on trade, on climate, and other challenges we share. Indeed, no country can solve global problems on its own. We need to work together. The G20 offers us a critically important forum for doing so. As you may know, Canada played a leading role in the creation of the G20, as well as its elevation to the leader's level in 2008 in the midst of the international financial crisis. And over the years, this forum has repeatedly demonstrated its worth as we seek to build a more stable and prosperous world. From the outset, our objective here was to make progress on the big challenges we face as a planet economic growth that benefits everyone, protecting the environment, and peace and security in the world. And I'm happy to say we reached consensus on a communique with important commitments in key areas, creating jobs and preparing people for the future of work by focusing on skills and education, fighting climate change and investing in clean energy, investing in infrastructure to foster sustainable economic growth, fair, open trade that creates good jobs and grows the middle class, and gender equality, girls' education, and women's economic empowerment. And as you know, yesterday we took the opportunity here to sign a new free trade agreement with Mexico and the United States. Those negotiations were not easy, but Canadians worked together and put their country's interests first. We did so because we know economic stability trade and growth are in the best interest of middle-class families in all three of our countries. I also met with my counterparts from Argentina, South Africa, France, the United Kingdom, Germany, Spain, and Japan, to name just a few. Speaking at the Business Women's Leaders Task Force panel, I was proud to share the podium with Ms. Sharzad Rafati, an incredible Canadian entrepreneur and pioneer who works to put ideals into action each and every day as Canada's representative on the Business Women Leaders Task Force and as CEO of a major Canadian company. We can and we must do more to help all people adapt to changing economic realities and make real, meaningful investments in their futures. Canada believes creating new opportunities for the middle class is the single best way to restore people's confidence in the future and stem the uncertainty that often accompanies globalization and technological change. Our citizens have asked us to work together to ensure a better, safer, and more secure world. That is the message that I brought to the table, and we renewed our commitment to do just that. Le Canada a fait un travail important ici au G20 en Argentine afin de renforcer notre économie et la classe moyenne et pour bâtir un avenir meilleur et un monde plus sécuritaire. 